Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a fresh batch of credit cards and passwords on the underground. Today, I quickly want to talk about two data breaches that were disclosed recently, one last week and one this. Let's start first with the breach of the data from the My Fitness app. My Fitness app is a very popular fitness app created by the, the makers of Under Armour. And last week, they disclosed that over 150 user accounts uh, were stolen in this particular data breach. And these accounts had things like your name, your address, maybe your email, but most important, your password hash. As you probably know in all these data breaches, the bad guys make off with huge databases of password hashes. And if you use short passwords, they can often crack your password, which is why recently 1.4 billion clear text passwords has been found on the underground. Now, of course, if you use the same password everywhere, not only can they get into your My Fitness app, but they can get into many other things. So this is a pretty typical data breach. You probably already know what to do. If you use the My Fitness app and you're worried about this and you don't already use a different password everywhere, you need to go and change your password at your accounts. At the very least, if you are using different passwords everywhere, go change your My Fitness app password and you'll be fine. By the way, there is a silver lining in this gray cloud, and that is the good news is Under Armour or the My Fitness app use something called Bcrypt to hash passwords. Without sharing a ton of technical details, there's tons of different ways to hash different algorithms. Plus, you can do things like salt your hash, which actually makes it even harder. People can't just crack all the MD5 hashes. They have to figure out your salt too to crack your specific hashes. But Bcrypt in particular, without going into technical details, this was a hashing algorithm that was purposely made to be very slow. That means the type of brute force hacking they use to kind of get the password from, from hashes that have short passwords takes a whole heck of a lot longer, which means even some of the shorter of the long passwords may not be that bad. Nonetheless, I still recommend that your passwords are at least 14 characters and probably more. Now, the second breach affects two retailers. Saks Fifth Avenue and a related company called Lord & Taylor. Now this breach was discovered because the, the investigators actually found uh, bad guys sharing the data from this breach on the underground already. The big deal in this particular breach was it used malware to infect point of sale systems and it stole a ton of credit card uh, information. So unlike the password breaches, for this you have to worry about bad guys having your credit card. Apparently there were at least 5 million accounts stolen in, although only a hundred thousand or so have been shared on the underground so far. In any case, if you shop in any of those stores, the main takeaway is you probably want to go change your credit card. And as always, these particular stores will probably eventually uh, offer at least a year of free uh, credit monitoring, and you should take advantage of that. It is kind of scary to see retailers still using credit cards. And it's another reason you should push your retailers to use chip and pin. A lot of us in the US are finally starting to see places that require chip and pin for credit cards, although often those machines still allow us to swipe our data. Now, some people may be unused to chip and pin, you know, they're not used to putting their, their card in and having the type of pin, and you might think it takes a little longer, but remember that security is going to help you. Even if bad guys steal the data from the card, they may not be able to create a fraudulent card because of the additional authentication that chip and pin provides. In any case, two interesting breaches. If you use my fitness app, be sure to change your password and hopefully you don't use that same password everywhere. And if you shop at Lord & Taylor or Saks Fifth Avenue, be sure to check to see if you need to get a new credit card. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.